Howdy folks, I'm Garrett and this is You've Got This. This week and really probably the next few weeks, we're going to talk about suspension systems and sockets. Basically, how do prosthetic legs stay on your body? And it's one of the most interesting, nuanced, and challenging aspects of being an amputee because every system has its pros and cons. Uh, this week, we're gonna kind of break down what the options are, and then in coming weeks, we'll dive into the details of the pros and cons and how they work. So, up first is simple, and one of the more common systems, and it's just suction. Basically, you've got your socket, you've got a sleeve which on the inside is rubber, and so it gets a seal around the socket, and then the top portion gets a seal around your leg. And that's all there is to it. Uh, the air gets pushed out when you initially push the socket on, and then you roll the sleeve up over your leg and it stays on. Um, this is still a suction system, but it's kind of a different take um, on the suction system, whereas this one, the sleeve's on the outside, uh, this one, the sleeve goes on the inside and it gets its seal down here inside um, the socket. And yeah. It's just another take on suction. Um, it has its own advantages and disadvantages. Um, one of the other more common types uh, is the pin system. And so you'll see this has a pin at the bottom. Um, some of them are a little longer, shorter, and this pin goes in, um, and this is my current system that I use. This button releases the pin um, so that I can pull the leg off. And the pin system is great because it's simple, it's compact, um, and it kind of just works, right? There's no air pressure involved. Um, it's just pure physics. It's clipped in, done. Um, however, without suction or kind of that negative air pressure, the pin system will be a little sloppy um, in that it's, it's, if you're, liner gives at all on your leg, you're gonna feel it. And as an amputee, once you even just a hair of give, you'll feel it. You'll know the difference with every step and it kind of affects your confidence. Um, but you know, we'll dive into that a lot more later. The third kind of, I don't wanna say most popular, most common is a vacuum system. Um, my current leg happens to be both pin and vacuum, so it gives me some redundancy. The hose you see here um, goes down to a pump so that when I step, every step, it's pulling air out of my socket to give me a better seal. Um, but sitting down, you know, you can kind of see here, there's a gap. The seal will break, the air will come out, and so the pin gives me that redundancy in this case. Um, it's kind of the best of both worlds. And when I want to, I have a bunch of old sleeves that have holes in them um, from rubbing on the carbon, which is just natural. You get new stuff every six months or so. Um, at least the parts that are designed to wear out. I can add those sleeves to this. And even though they have a hole in them, uh, they help give me an extra layer of confidence. Uh, so it's kind of nice. Uh, some of the other common systems, I say common, um, available systems. Uh, a company called Martin, I think Martin Bionics, makes a leg that instead of relying on carbon fiber like this, it has um, kind of like straps and then it, I don't know if it Velcros or, but basically it's a soft socket instead of a hard carbon fiber socket. The idea is that it's more comfortable. Um, the biggest drawback being that it might not be as stiff and responsive. Um, Again, I haven't tried it, um, I'd love to, but uh, you know. So if really, if walking is all you care about, it might be a great one. Like my understanding, it kind of seems like it'd be like, almost like a pair of house slippers, right? Your comfy shoes, you wouldn't go play basketball in them, but around the house, they're great. Um, again, I don't know enough about it, so I can't comment too much more. Uh, an option kind of between this and that is something like this, 
but they cut away portions of the socket and they use a BOA system like you might see with a snowboard boot. And that BOA system, you just dial it in and you can loosen and tighten it depending on what you're doing or if you have pain in a certain spot on your leg, um, it gives you some flexibility there. And finally, there's Osseo integration, which is where they take a metal rod and surgically implant it into your bone. Um, you then don't need the sleeves and liners and sockets because your foot attaches directly to your body. Um, it's really convenient once you're through the whole surgery and recovery part, um, but it's also uh, more challenging because it's uh, lower impact. Um, you, you, can't, you don't wanna go do anything really heavy duty on it because it can snap and break a bone. Um, so those are the main systems available. Um, I'll include some links and that kind of thing uh, for everything in the notes. And uh, next week we will start diving into the components of a socket and then really kind of start talking about the nuance, pros and cons, um, and what uh, might help you make the best decision on which socket to try for yourself. I'm Garrett, thanks for watching. You've got this.